Hi, I'm Cliff Lenz, and the program you're about to see takes place in China. China, that faraway country in East Asia where over one billion people live. A country that has the world's oldest living civilization. Most of China's population lives in small villages and towns, but there are two large cities, Shanghai with seven million people, and the capital, Beijing, with six million people. In 1979, the great violinist Isaac Stern went to China to share his knowledge of Western music and to learn more about China and its music. People in China study and play both their own traditional instruments and the same instruments that are played here and in Europe. Mr. Stern listened to young students perform and gave them some ideas about how to improve their playing. He also gave formal performances with Chinese musicians. Everywhere he went, Great crowds turned out to hear him play and teach. Isaac Stern received a warm welcome in China. In one city, he was welcomed by an orchestra playing a medley of songs by the American composer Stephen Foster. The orchestra that played for him was made up entirely of traditional Chinese instruments. Here is Isaac Stern in China. The easiest way for a person to learn about another country is to meet the professionals in one's own field. Let's start from the beginning. Stop. Now come here and sing the beginning for me. Da, 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 bum. Just sing it. You sing it. Go ahead. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Beautiful. Now, why don't you play it this way? You know, did you hear what you did? You sang. But when you played it, you played... Oh. 
You see? He one plays, one sings usually very naturally. You must always listen as if you were hearing something very beautiful. Then you must figure out how to do it here. So that when you go... Now start it once more and play it as if you were singing it. Think in here, sing in here, and play here. Ah, good girl, good girl, good girl, good girl. That's all right, you see? There's a difference, you understand? For me, the violin must be part of the body. Like another arm. And you hold it, it's simple. I also have a little secret. <laughs> Foam rubber, it's called. <laughs> <laughs> and you can shape it to any size then you're free to be flat or this way or that then you can control this on the violin is very important <laughs> We were taken to a class of the Peking Opera, a highly stylized tradition of presenting old myths and stories, very romantic stories, full of battles and heroes and heroines, all accompanied by cymbals, gongs, flutes, trumpets, all played by what seemed to us virtuosi of their instruments, because they could do anything with them. We'll do it once more. And it's tuned naturally to what? Can I hear one? One, one, one by one. Can I just one by one? I just want to hear the other one. Uh, Very good. <laughs> Later, we watched the students rehearsing some of the scenes from the Peking Opera classical repertory.
个地方啦，都啊，都在那个小个地方，比如哒哒哒哒的，这个只是这个小动作，都在随随时关在控制控制好，对吧？还有这个分区这个声音，哒哒的哒。这个地方，呃，都都都都在这个地方控制，所以个音，哎，不要等等，不要等到太长了，那那个了，是啊。Time you take up the instrument, you are making a statement, your statement, and it must be a statement of faith that you believe this is the way you want to speak. Unless you feel that you must live with music. That music can say more than words. That music can mean more. That without music we are not alive. If you don't feel all that, don't be a musician. And teachers will understand what I've been trying to say. If I have been critical 
It is only to share with you my faith, my abiding belief in both music and young people. And I believe between the two of them, the world is a better place. And if I have left that behind, I'll be very grateful. Thank you.